Welcome to this presentation of Atlas 5 for Microsoft Dynamics AX 2012. this version I'm going to demonstrate installing an update to an of a newer version of Atlas on top of an existing older build. First I'm just going to make sure that my client is logged out. Next I'm going to run the installation. So running the installation over the top of an existing build will remove the old one and install a new one and retain all settings. So uh, as this is telling me it's found an old build of which I shall click next to have it removed. We'll be going through the uninstall process. To remove the product completely you need to do this from the control panel uh, and then there will be an, an option to uh, remove it completely including license keys and everything else. Next, so the product's been removed, I can now click on next. I'm installing build 3123. I'll click through the obligatory messages. My demonstration installation, I simply say where the product will be installed and all settings from previous from the previous installation will be respected. So from a demonstration perspective it should literally be a matter of minutes to install a newer build on top of a previous version. No activation or reactivation is required. Um, it's it really just an update of the software. get a confirmation as to what services were installed previously and I'm just going to click OK to have them set up using the same port numbers as the previous install. If I do need to change that I still have the client UI of the Atlas services uh, to change settings um, should I decide to do something different this time around. So the service has started. Uh, I can simply now log in. I'm just going to check the services first and you now see the build number of the services that were installed. The Atlas Licensing Service and the AX Data Service for 2012 also. In the Start menu, Globe Software Atlas, I have my login. These settings should have been retained. The Connection tab in this build uh, is a little bit different. Uh, just the minus and minor changes here. I'm now offered a uh, new edit and delete buttons instead of uh, uh, double clicking to edit as previous. I'm just going to test the login. That'll be successful. And then I'm just going to check the Excel add-in. You should see the same build number as installing here. 3123. ribbon is there. And one other improvement you'll see in this build is there used to be a delay the second in the second cell you typed something in. Oh, that delay has now been removed from the product. We used to load some Atlas things in the background and some slower machines have noticed a lag of one or two seconds um, even when not using Atlas so we've corrected that. Thank you very